With WKUF News, I'm David Jackson for Monday, May 16th, 2016. A Genesee County Household Hazardous Waste Recycling Day is scheduled for this coming Saturday. Roberto Acosta of the Flint Journal reports that this year's annual event will be held at two sites, one at the Water Service Center on 3310 East Court Street and the other at the Grand Blake High School's West Campus, where both will be open this coming Saturday from 10 to 2. Residents of Genesee County can use this opportunity to properly dispose of unwanted household hazardous waste, including oil-based paints, electronics, and prescription drugs. And the Genesee County Habitat for Humanity would also like to remind residents that latex paint can be recycled at the Restore retail operation at 101 Burton Street during regular business hours. Items of note that are not accepted include industrial or commercial waste, weapons and ammunition, and radioactive materials. For further details, the Genesee County Metropolitan Planning Commission has a resource at their website on gsmpc.org. General Motors has instructed their dealers to stop selling their entire inventory of select vehicles. Autonews.com reports that a memo sent out to dealers on Friday says that apparently an inadvertent error lists the EPA fuel mileage as being better than what it should have been. The halt affects new delivery and sales of the 2015 and 2016 Chevrolet Traverse, GMC Acadia, and Buick Enclave crossovers until GM delivers new Monroney window stickers to dealers. The Monroney sticker, first implemented in 1959, is a federally mandated label that is to be affixed to new vehicles that shows details like the MSRP, engine and transmission specifications, and, as of 2007, the fuel economy ratings as determined by the EPA. According to autonews.com, a team of GM engineers discovered the error while preparing the data for 2017 labels, and apparently the error citing that the vehicles get an average of 19 miles to the gallon instead of the 17 miles to the gallon that it's supposed to have could have hit GM with fines and penalties for the misstatement. Dealers are expected to get the new labels by Tuesday, new delivery orders are expected to be honored at that time, and current owners of the affected model years will be advised of the discovery by mail. China's defense ministry has criticized a recent U.S. report about the military threat of their country in the South China Sea. The Associated Press reports that the U.S. Defense Department's annual report on China's military activities holds that recent expansion of islands in disputed waters indicates that China has begun developing and weaponizing those man-made islands so it will have greater control over the maritime region. China's defense ministry says that the report has willfully distorted their national defense policy and that the islands are being built up as a public service and to support fishermen. China also claims that the U.S. is too suspicious and are instead themselves guilty of sending military aircraft and warships into the region as a show of force, pointing to islands being built elsewhere by other countries that could affect traffic in one of the world's busiest sea lanes. The U.S. Defense Department, however, accuses China of increasingly assertive efforts to advance its national sovereignty and territorial claims, adding that the country lacks adequate transparency about its growing military capabilities that are causing tensions with other countries in the region. The islands in question are in contested waters where Japan, Vietnam, China, and others all claim sovereignty over parts of what are known as the Spratly and Paracel Islands. Microsoft's newest operating system, Windows 10, may be forcing users of their old operating systems to upgrade without their consent. Tom'sHardware.com reports that when the newest OS from Microsoft was released last year, users began seeing the advertisement for a free upgrade popping up on their screens. Microsoft announced that until July 29th this year, licensed users of their most recent Windows operating systems could upgrade to the newest product for free by simply downloading the product. Complaints arose immediately after Windows 10 was released, however, with accusations that Microsoft was forcing users to download the product without their knowledge, excessive hardware requirements, and studies showing that the newest OS could be spying on everything. Microsoft has denied any wrongdoing, said that the so-called spying software inherent in the new OS was simply collecting data for stability and performance analysis and to offer a more personalized online advertising experience for users. Recently, the free upgrade that can be turned down has been installing automatically on some machines. TomsHardware.com reported that the latest version of the pop-up ad to upgrade has been opting users in automatically to install, and users who wish to stay with their current operating systems may now have to manually opt out of the new software every time the pop-up ad displays. 
For more information about today's stories, visit WKUF.FM. I'm David Jackson.